tutorial for Noko HQ. And today's tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to write custom code or use custom code in your Bubble application. Obviously, Bubble is a no-code tool uh, and many things are possible just using Bubble's native features, but Bubble also gives you the possibility to extend your application using custom code in various different ways and, and areas of your Bubble app. And we have several uh, applications that are running live uh, since a couple of years with lots of users. And for almost all of these applications, uh, we have at least one instance where there's uh, some custom code running somewhere. Um, we've built lots of custom plugins for our applications just to extend the functionality because at a certain point, um, there is quite likely that you kind of want to extend your app, add some functionality that is not supported or just maybe have a custom tailored um, solution for your application. And I think that that's actually one of the great strengths of Bubble because obviously it's really easy and uh, quick to build um, with the no-code to Bubble. Um, but then they also give you the possibility to kind of extend um, everything and um, go beyond what is possible with the standard features uh, using custom code. So um, in this tutorial, we're just going to show you the different options there are, how to uh, inject custom code, use custom code, etc. We're not going to build anything in particular or show any particular custom code. Obviously, that will depend on your use case, what you want to do. But um, most things uh, I would say would be possible. Um, not all, but, but many things are possible. So let's jump right into it. I'm here in my Bubble app right now. It's an empty page. Let's actually change the background color. So um, it's just visible more easily. Okay. Um, standard Bubble application, nothing too interesting. And I want to show you now what things are possible um, where you can add custom code. So first of all, um, probably the most important one is if you go to settings under SEO slash meta tags, you have the ability if you scroll down to apply basically code, okay, script meta tags in the HTML header of the page or in the body. Um, First of all, be aware that this will only be applied this code if you're on a paid plan. So we won't be even able to test that here. But what does this do? This will add some code that you specify here to every single page in your Bubble application. So um, be aware when using that, that if you add something here, it will be applied everywhere. When would you use that? This is usually used if you want to add some code such as um, analytics code. So maybe Google Analytics, for example, you want this to be applied on every page. Usually you add some header code here. You can add that here. Um, this will be things like pixel. So Facebook pixel, LinkedIn, TikTok pixel. If you want to track um, basically user data for advertising, you would also add that here. Um, but also things that if you maybe have a general CSS setting you want to set, you could also define that here. However, usually you would define the style in Bubble itself, but if sometimes uh, what we did is we want to kind of um, do something that's not possible in Bubble, we, we added the style options here, for example. So what we want, one time did is that if you hover on a group that the kind of the group jumps up a bit, um, we did that using custom code and you want to define, basically apply that here to all these pages. So just be aware of that. Um, what basically, um, the opposite or not the opposite, that's not what I mean, but um, basically the other part is you can just go to a single page here. So right now we're on this custom page, okay? You can just double click on that and you will have this uh, standard element inspector here for the page itself, okay? And then if you scroll down, you will have the page HTML header. This is where you can, as before, apply custom code to the header of the page. But in this case, this will only be applied to this um, this single page here, okay? Um, this uh, might be really helpful if you just wanna show custom things or have custom code applied on a single page. So what is an example of that? If you wanna kind of add um, structured data for a single page, you can do that or obviously use our plugins. Um, you can also maybe add um, custom CSS styles just for this page. You can add, um, uh, they are basically tracking code. So if you have like a um, order confirmation page where a user is brought to after he checked out or bought something, you could add, for example, Google Ads conversion tracking code to this header so that when a user lands on this page, the action will be sent over to Google Ads, counting it as a conversion, okay? So this is a place as well where you can add custom code um, in Bubble. Just be aware, it will have to be in HTML format. So um, Usually what you want to do or what you add is a script. Okay, so a script will be JavaScript that you add directly to the page. Okay, we can 
just make a quick example so we can say all right we want to add a script to this page and the script will be console log okay um hello world okay so this will now be applied to the header okay and we'll run this console log command which is just simply logging to the console hello. okay so let's take a look at the next part basically where you can add code and this is quite obviously presented here, which is just this code block, which is HTML, okay? So you can just, as of uh, all the other native elements in Bubble, you can click the HTML element and just drag that as usual on your page. And we will have this element inspector as always, and we can position this uh, however you want, add um, rules, conditions, um, and define responsiveness. And then we can simply add HTML code here. Um, and this is quite helpful as well, because for example, we once did, we added, um, basically embedded videos, okay? Um, and we were given the custom code from the video hosting site, and you can just paste that here and it will be displayed here. The great thing, once again, you can use dynamic data, okay? So, for example, let's just add something really simple, okay? Let's add a div, okay? Um, and the div will say, hello world. And we, you will already be able to see that this is being displayed here. This is just standard um, HTML, nothing too special. So we're here in our HTML editor right now, just to show you, um, Lauren, let's just have a simple example, okay? Okay, let's make that maybe H1 here, okay? Um, let's say this is, um, I don't know, bold, okay? Um, you can even add an input, okay? Um, yeah, basically label, okay, hello. And then let's add an input as well, okay. So let's just copy this code and paste that here again. And you will just be able to see again, okay, we have this really simple HTML edit here, works perfectly fine um, with a checkbox, um, obviously no, no styling, but you get the idea. We have the ability to kind of add custom HTML, custom um, code here to kind of extend our functionality and then you will be obviously able to connect that to some form of dynamic data um, using this dynamic standard insert dynamic data um, option so um, for example you could have input here would make no sense but uh, just to demonstrate okay we have input a and you could say okay um, the label um, should be um, yeah the, the label should be whatever the value is of uh, input a's value okay and then if we preview that quickly um let's just take a look at that we can add something here hello world and you can see automatically this is inserted in our custom html um so um yeah a way to kind of interact with html from your bubble application so quite powerful again this wouldn't be a real use case but um i guess you understand what i mean um, you can embed almost anything and don't be confused by this HTML here. You can also, you could also embed uh, or insert as JavaScript here as well. Um, just again, by using the script notation, okay, like this, open and close, uh, and then add, adding some JavaScript. If you want to add that to the body of the page, so this is some something quite interesting. Bubble just gives you the option here to add page HTML header, whereas here it also gives you the option to add script in the body. And this is kind of the replacement. If you add script here, this is basically adding the script to the body, okay? One important thing here is that this element is visible on page, or this is important if you have script here, obviously script isn't visible, but if you uncheck this, this will mean the script won't be loaded, okay? So make sure that you always have that checked. If this this HTML isn't shouldn't be visible and it's just script or JavaScript, what we usually do, we make that like really small, okay? Um, and just position that on the, at the bottom somewhere. Okay, now it's too small, but like this somewhere, yeah. Um, and make it visible and then just run the script basically, okay? We use that for things like chatbots uh, that are loaded with scripts and have to be loaded in the body and then the chatbot will be displayed at the bottom here, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the last um, and probably, yeah, not probably, the most complex way of um, inserting custom code, extending your bubble application is plugins. and. You all probably, if you use Bubble regularly, have used plugins, maybe also some of our plugins. We um, are one of the biggest plugin developers in the Bubble marketplace uh, under the name of Anticode. But um, you are, have also the ability to create, build, and uh, use custom plugins in your Bubble application. And we're not gonna show you how to build custom plugins uh, exactly, just to show you that there is this option. So you can always create a new plugin um, in Bubble. Uh, I'm just gonna call this testing, okay? Um, and basically plugins allow you to 
um, create new elements and create new actions, which then base on custom code. Okay. Um, and again, I'm not going to go into too much detail here. Um, you can you could add um, HTML header, header via the plugin with API keys. You can uh, ex expand uh, your Bubble app or your plugin using uh, libraries, custom JavaScript libraries. Okay. And you can obviously add new elements and add new actions. I'm just going to build something really simple for you just to show you. Okay. Um, let's create a new action called alert. Okay. Um, this will be a um, generic plugin on the client side. And this is a field which we can define, which is basically the fields that are in the element inspector. This will be a field here. Okay. And we're going to call this field message. Okay. In the editor, what is it? Dynamic value of type text. Okay. And then here we can have under the run client, this is basically the part where this is executed when the user triggers the alert um, plugin okay, or action. Okay. And what we're going to simply do is just we're going to run the alert command in JavaScript um, with the custom message, which is properties.message. Okay. So, really simple. Um, again, not really um, probably not useful, but just to show you, it's one of the easiest examples I can I can do. Um, so what happens here is when the user runs this action that we just built, okay, an alert will be shown with a dynamic message, which is whatever the user has entered in the message field as the message. And that's basically it. Okay. And we can now go ahead and just test that by entering our bubble app name here, testing plugins anti code. Okay, this will then bring us to our test app. Okay where you will then have access to your bubble app uh, with the uh, plugins installed. So if you go to plugins here, it will show the plugin as testing. So testing 534 in brackets testing, you can see the actions alert is installed. And now quite simple, we're just going to add a button here. Um, call that alert and an input as well. Okay. And let's say all right, alert when this is pressed, we want to and you can now go to plugins and we have this plugin name, your action name called alert and add a custom message here, which is input ace value. Now preview that again. And you will see we build our own custom action using JavaScript and a custom plugin in probably less than one minute. Okay, so I'm going to add a something here, um, error. Okay, let's alert that and you can see we get a, a standard custom, a standard uh, um, browser alert with the error message error 232. Uh, we can also change that to hello world and it will work as well. So really simple, but we kind of connected our native bubble functionality here with a custom JavaScript function um, to extend our functionality and add something to bubble, which is not natively present. Okay. And um, this is just actions. You can do server side actions and obviously elements. If you add a new element, these elements will be then in your bubble app be displayed here under all the other elements. Okay. And you can build many kinds of elements. Um, let's just show you how that looks. You can add visual elements, input forms um, with states, events, and actions. Um, apply custom header code only when the plugin is added to the page and so on and so forth. We have a, uh, another tutorial showing you uh, or demoing how to build a custom plugin using bubble. I'd recommend you to look at that if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, that's the gen basically the gist of this um, tutorial here, um, showing you that it's possible to extend your bubble application using various different uh, ways um, of custom code. Just to summarize again, under settings, SEO meta tags, add custom header, custom body uh, script. You can add custom header always here um, on the page itself. You can drag an HTML element onto your page and add custom code. And if that's not enough, you can build custom plugins. Be aware that this is all um, using JavaScript. So especially the plugins here, this is all JavaScript always. Um, the HTML is obviously HTML and the header as well. Um, and there's no other programming language you can use, um, no Python or um, anything else. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you learned something and I'm going to see you guys for next tutorial of NoCoHQ. Bye.